Hi there, my name is Celeste and I am an account manager here at Wix. Today I'm going to show you how you can build a course using Wix bookings. The first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and click on your booking services tab in your Wix dashboard, then click add a new service. Now we're going to say this is for multiple participants and then we're going to select course. This is where we're going to go ahead and add in all that additional de detail about this particular course. So this is going to be for a yoga teacher training course. Here's where you can add in a little bit more information about the course itself. An image is just a little visualization that you can include. Description and media. A lot of people use description for courses. That way you can show anything and everything that this course includes and just add a little bit more detail to your course. Cover image. This would be added as another visualization for your people to see whenever they go to the specific booking page. Service gallery, this is to show visualization of what the course looks like, what the studio looks like, um, previous courses, um, photos of that. Service type, it's automatically gonna select course. And then service details, here's where we can change the course capacity to be whatever we want. So let's say we're gonna do 100 participants. And then we have three options for course prices. So we have fixed price, custom price, or no fee. We'll go ahead and leave it as fixed price and we'll say that this is $500. Now it automatically selects that clients pay the entire amount online, but we can change this as well. So they can pay the entire amount in person, online, either online or in person, or a lot of people do this as well for courses where they pay an online deposit and the rest in person. So let's go ahead and say they'll pay an online deposit of $100. That means they'll pay the rest of that $400 when they come for their course in person. Location, this is based off your business settings, but you can always edit this here. Video conferencing is if you wanna connect it to Zoom to make this something that is a virtual yoga teacher training course. Now what I'll go ahead and do is I'm gonna add sessions to my course. That way we can set a start date, end date, and what sessions happen in between those. So I'll go ahead and click save and continue, and then it'll load a pop-up and it'll show me, okay, so this is the course is the yoga teacher training. We don't have any sessions scheduled yet, which is what we're going to head and doing. Um, and then we'll select the staff member of who is teaching this particular session. So we'll change this to Liz. And let's say that we want this session with Liz to start on the 1st of July. And we'll say that session starts maybe at 10 a.m. The duration, we can do one of these or we can always do a custom duration. So let's say we want it to be five hours and 30 minutes. Repeat, you can either leave it as this is a one-time session, it never repeats, or you could say it repeats weekly, every two weeks, every few weeks or every four weeks. Let's go ahead and say weekly. And let's say Liz has this particular session happen on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. The until, this is saying, how long do you want this to reoccur until? Let's say that this is only going until the end of July. So I'll go ahead and select July 31st. If those are the only sessions you wanna add, you can go ahead and click save. Or if you wanna add more, click save and add new. And then this one, Dave will go ahead and teach another session. Let's say again, his sessions start on the 2nd of July. And his will be at 6 p.m. for maybe let's say three hours and zero minutes. We'll say that this is a one-time thing and so it doesn't repeat. We'll go ahead and click save because we have no more to add or you can add even more if you would like to. Click save and then this will go ahead and load and show all those sessions and here's where you can view that schedule of what you have for those sessions for this particular course. Now if I go ahead and scroll down, I'll have my additional settings. If I click show more, here is my online booking preferences. This is just saying that I am accepting online bookings. Payment preferences, we've already changed above, but you can change it here as well. Group booking preferences, this is where you can change it where you can have people book for multiple people at one time. Booking form is where you can leave it as the default or you can create a custom booking form as well. Once you're all done, you'll go ahead and click save. And I wanna show you an example of what this looks like on the calendar. So go ahead and go to your booking calendar and select calendar. And once this loads, I'll go ahead and go to the first right here. And here's where you can see those sessions that I created. So the yoga teacher training. You can also always add sessions as well. If you wanna add on, you can do it directly from the booking calendar. 
So if I want to add a session for Friday, I can do course session. And then here's where I can go ahead and add in that additional detail. And then I will go ahead and click save whenever I am done. Now I will show you an example of what a course looks like on the website. So right here, we have our yoga teacher training course. I'll go ahead and I'll either click the image or book now. And then if I scroll down, I can see all these sessions that are part of the course. I'll click book now. And then this is where it'll take you through that checkout flow of filling out the form. And then you'll go ahead and pay now.